This is my first year of receiving Social Security, so I need to do a, a Social Security Benefits Worksheet this year. And uh, decided to convert it into uh, a spreadsheet so I can keep track of the math a little bit more and try and understand what is going on on the sheet. So here's the first page of the 1040 form. This is year 2022. And it has 15 lines on it. And I already have this on the uh, spreadsheet and just put the numbers in here you have wages interest dividends IRA which I don't have pension I have I don't work that's why I don't have wages and Social Security well the way it's going to work with Social Security not all of it is taxable and that's where the worksheet comes in and so that's what we're trying to do on this worksheet and it's going to be manipulating and calculating numbers so I already have the formulas set up and I had to put it in uh, right now the formulas are in uh, I put a comma in front and that turns it from a math calculation into text and it's large enough that you can see and so that we're going to work through this one, one step at a time. So, first thing you want to know, my Social Security from the form. So over here, Social Security, it would be equal to what is in column D, line number 9. And that's what I have is D9. So in order to get this to uh, convert, I have to do an F2, go to the beginning, Backspace to get rid of the comma, and now it's a, uh, it's in it's seeing it the the spreadsheet sees it as a number, and the next line it says the multiply line one by five, and now we're in the G column and the line numbers over here, and that's what we're going to be working on. So once again, for me, I'll have this set up. I have to turn it from text into a formula. So do an F two. Do a left over, then backspace to get rid of the comma, hit enter, and ask for what that math is. Then line three, you're adding all of your income except for your Social Security, which kind of messes you up with your 1040 lines. So that's why I have the Social Security off to the side there. So now we're, that's what I have where I'm adding all these here, and it's adding the columns, and it's indicating the row. So we'll just do an F2 again. Come over here to the beginning. Backspace, get rid of the comma. And that's what I would have all my income without Social Security. Then on line 4, it asks if anything is exempt and none of my social or interest that is tax exempt. And I don't have any interest that is tax exempt. So come down to line 5, and it wants to add these previous three lines. So once again, you know, for me, I'm going to change it from comment into a formula, and get rid of the comma there. And it shows that, added all together, the income was 64000 with Social Security. And yeah, everything is 64000 and adjustments from Schedule 1, I don't have any adjustments from Schedule 1. I didn't have any special things going on. Now it's telling me to subtract line 5 from line 6. So that's, uh, or line 6 from line 5. And uh, so over here you see the formulas where I'm going to be subtracting uh, G9 from G8. And so all I have to do is, for me, Turn it into a formula, and so we. And then here you, uh, if you're single, you have to enter in a fixed number. For me, it's twenty-five thousand. Then down here it says to uh, subtract uh, line eight from line seven. And as you can see, G ten minus G eleven. Turn that into a formula, and there we are. There. Single, once again, it's a fixed number, 9,000. You'll get that off of your worksheet when you can look at it and read it. 
And here we are subtracting uh, line number 10 from line 9. So we're doing F2. Get rid of the comment. Turn it into a math formula. There we are. Now here's where something that thanks to another YouTube uh, provider, they did a minimum function with exactly what is going on with, with this line 12 of the worksheet. It says take the smaller of, the, of line 9 in line 10 and enter it here. Well that's what this minimum command does. You put a equal sign starts a formula and then min is the type of formula then parentheses and the forms that you're working uh, the the uh, cells that you're working with. So uh, that was really helpful with that YouTube contributor to help me be able to do this. Hit the wrong key. And there it picked a smaller from line 10 and line 9. And it found that line 10 and line 9, so the smaller was 9,000. So that's working. And now it wants to multiply line 12, we on above, by 0.5. And get rid of the comment and convert that formula. And that text into a formula and there's the answer there and here again it wants the smaller of line 2 or line 13 and we do the minimum function again let me get my F2 and I come over and get rid of the comment that I put in there change that into a math formula and there we are now multiply line 11 by 0.85 and so we're going to do that. Let's see what that magic formula does. Get rid of the comment and there we are. Now it wants to add 14 and 15 and that's pretty simple math there. Just equals and plus. Get rid of that comment and there we are. Now it wants to multiply line 1 by 0.85. Here's line 1, that's G4. So we're going to, I'm going to convert that into a formula. That's what the formula is. There we are. And then it wants to know the smaller of 16 or 17. And so, let me do an F2. And the smaller of the minimum function again. Get rid of that comment. And shows that it's 22,517. And this is on this is column G, line 21. So in order to answer the question over here on the 1040 form, I would put in the formula equals G 21 that's what's in G 21 and there we go it answers the rest of the forms from my 1040 this is converting the worksheet into a uh, spreadsheet and I find this very helpful and I'll also have to do this for the capital gain they have a when you go to pay your taxes capital gains makes you use uh, other than using the tax tables in the book you have to do a worksheet so this is going to help me out for that but uh, I thought someone might be interested in seeing this and I hope it does enlighten someone on how to use a spreadsheet to make doing taxes if you do it by hand or just to get a good know of what you're doing make it easier for you hope you enjoyed that